Welcome back students. In this short lesson, I'm going to show you how to shuffle an array in JavaScript. I'm going to use a really basic and simple shuffle algorithm. Uh, there are lots of ways to shuffle an array and there are more and less complicated uh, algorithms for doing that, but I'm going to show you a really simple one. It's not the most efficient algorithm for shuffling, but it does work and it's a good place to start. First of all, let me show you the program running. I have already created an array uh, in this program and it's called names and it holds 10 names. They are already in alphabetical order and um, when I click the shuffle button, it's going to shuffle them into a randomized order. You can see here the names are being displayed in a alert window in JavaScript. Abby, Ben, Casey, Daniel, Esther, Franco, Gunnar, Hector, Isaiah, and Jose. Okay, so it's alphabetical from A to J, 10 names. And now when I click, this is, this is the current uh, order of the array, but when I click the OK button, it's going to sort them, or sh I'm sorry, shuffle them, and then display the list again. So now I have Casey, Abby, Franco, Ben, etc. And so it has randomized the order. If I click the shuffle button again, it's going to show them in the order they were just in, Casey, Abby, Franco, etc. And then when I click OK, it's going to uh, shuffle them one more time. So now we see that we're able to shuffle the array. So how do we do this? We're going to use a random number generator to generate a random number uh, from zero to the upper uh, element of the array. We're going to use that random number to randomly select one of the items from the array and then swap that with uh, the current item in the array. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, here you can see I have my global names array and I've created my names array, filled it with the names I just showed you, but now I want to shuffle it. So how do I do that? First of all, I need to uh, use my window.alert function uh, to output the current array contains. And then I can just output variable names, which is my array. Okay, now I need a for loop that's going to go through every item in the array. And um, as it does so, it's going to swap out each current element with some random element in the array. We've learned in a previous lesson that we use for loops with our arrays, and we always loop uh, less than the length of the array, which you see I've done here. Okay, I'm creating a random number that will go from zero up to, uh, but not including the length of the array. This will give me a number, a random number, uh, that matches the elements of the array. In order to accomplish this algorithm, I'm going to need to use what's called a swap algorithm, where I swap two elements in the array. Whenever you swap two elements, uh, you need to always have a third element or a third variable where you can store one of the uh, values temporarily while you do the swap. So to do that, let's create a variable called temp name, and we'll just set it to an empty string at this point. Then we need a place to store the current name and a random name. We're going to get the current name from the uh, names array using the, the counter variable i. We'll get the random name out of the names array, but now using our random number as our element number instead of i. Now I'm going to use these three variables temp name, current name, and random name to do a swap. My, my variable temp name will first receive my current name. Names i, which is the current position in the array that I'm currently working with, will receive the random name and the position at random num 
the element at the position random num from the names array will receive that original temp name that I swapped out first. That'll do it. That's our swapping algorithm. All right, the last step is I need to send to the alert window uh, my finished array. The shuffled array contains, and then add in here, concatenate the names array to the end of that. Now if I test this, I should be able to shuffle my array. I click my button. It shows the original array in its alphabetical order. I click OK, and now it's been shuffled. We can do that multiple times and see that every time it will randomize the order of the array. OK, I hope this was helpful. Again, demonstrating how to use a really basic algorithm to shuffle an array. We're using a swap algorithm where we need to have three holding places or three variables for swapping two different values in an array. It's a very common algorithm that you'll want to be aware of. Thanks for watching.